Hey guys, it's Jason from Outdoor Adventures. Today we're going to be looking at the Thermarest Neo Air X Therm, regular size. I bought this pad to replace a big Agnes Q Core SL that I was unhappy with, and you can see that review right here. So, without further ado, let's dive in. The Neo Air X Therm comes in at 18.1 ounces. Without the air tap, it weighs 17.8 ounces. You can see this compared to a 32 ounce Nalgene bottle. It has an R value of 5.7, which makes this a great winter pad, as well as summer, spring, and fall. So you have all four seasons covered with this pad. Um, for summer use on hot days or very high humidity days, you know, depending on your location, it may, some people may find that it's a bit too warm. Um, I slept on it when it was very humid and 83 degrees, um, and I found it comfortable as long as I was laying on top of my sleeping bag. Um, if I would have been in the bag with this pad, it would have been way too hot. So without further ado, let's unpack this and we'll see what we get. So first we have the sleeping pad itself. And like with all Thermarest sleeping pads, you do get a uh, field repair kit. So make sure to throw this in there. The stuff sack also doubles as a pump sack, so you don't have to use your breath to inflate your sleeping pad. I have installed the Thermarest air tap to make blowing this up a little easier. You don't have to purchase this because this small clear plastic piece on the end of this bag actually goes around the nozzle and you can then fill it with air and push the air through it. Here's the port on the bottom of the Thermarest stuff sack. Now, this is without the air tap. Now, I'm still not sure how I feel. You can see that it's just a small plastic piece. It may rip. It may not. Like I said, I just purchased the air tap just to be safe. I mean, you could still, you know, you could easily attach this piece to your Thermarest and blow it up. Um, maybe it's a little tricky at first, but... So, see, it does the same thing, but with the air tap, you get this piece, and you can simply just slide it on there, and then you're basically done. You know, that creates that airtight seal that you're looking for. However, this piece does stick out of the bag you know a fairly decent amount enough that I may be worried that this would bend in your pack and rip the plastic piece anyway so it's kind of a double-edged sword so you guys can take your pick if you want to buy this little little accessory or not so but there's two sides of the argument so you decide for yourself you don't want to breathe in here because it will trap moisture in you know from the from your breath and uh, you know the, that moisture will eventually freeze if you're using this pad in you know cold temperatures. So you want to maintain your heat throughout this thing, and I suggest using the pump sack. So let's get this let's get this inflated. Okay guys, so here is the Thermarest Neo Air X Therm all blown up. It's uh, horizontal baffles and they actually work out very, very well. Now the top of the pad is a 50 denier nylon and the bottom of the pad is a 70 denier nylon so it's a bit it's a bit tough on the bottom. I've actually used this in a tent where the terrain was basically this. So the whole side of the tent was on a down slope. Uh, so the right side of your body was higher than your left and your feet were lower than your head. 
So this pad actually kept me in place all night. The sleeping pad actually stayed in place in the tent and my sleeping bag stayed in place on the pad, which that was very, very important because the last pad I had, the Big Agnes pad, I was moving all around. I was sliding off of it like somebody had just waxed the floor. Thumberest did a very good job at coating this or whatever material uh, they decided to use this. It feels like there's some kind of coating on the bottom, so I'm assuming they coated the nylon in something. Um, as far as comfort, this thing is amazingly comfortable. Uh, you know, just let just let a little air out, get it to your desired um, firmness, and you'll be out like a light all night. So, I've tried this on my side, I've tried it on my back, I've tried it on my stomach. Um, I've even had it, uh, last night I even had it out in the hammock, um, because I think my next adventure we're going hammock camping. And... Uh, it's very nice in a hammock, too, because I have an Eno, Eno double nest, and this pushes out the sides of the hammock, and it also keeps you in place so your back isn't like this. It actually it rounds it just a little bit, just enough where it's extremely comfortable. So if you're just starting hammock camping like I am, and you haven't purchased your underquilt yet, this will definitely get you by. Um, it was, it dropped to 50 degrees last night and I was incredibly warm uh, all night just sleeping on this and a 35 degree uh, mountain hardware sleeping bag, synthetic bag. Um, and I didn't wake up, but I didn't wake up at any point last night. I slept for a good six or seven hours uh, before the birds actually woke me up. So very, very good pad. This actually won, um, what was it, uh, Outdoor Gear Lab's Editor's Choice Award. Um, a lot of people have complained that this pad is very noisy. I have experienced the noise level in the ultralight version of this, the Neo Air X Lite. But this pad, I can say, isn't anywhere near as noisy as that. It, it may be a little bit, but... Any inflatable air mattress, especially rated for this high at 5.7, is going to be a tad noisy. It's not to the point where you're going to be rolling over and it's going to be waking you up, but perhaps you know if you're you know getting up completely, you know um, you know going to the bathroom in the middle of the night, you might wake the, your buddy up next to you if uh, he's a light sleep he or she is a light sleeper. So be thinking of that. Other than that noisiness level, which I personally don't feel is even a problem, I myself am a very light sleeper, and the crinkliness doesn't wake me up or bother me at all. Just sitting here and moving around on this, it's not its not that loud compared to any other air pad you could get. Um, you know, a non-self-inflating air pad, a non-foam one. So, a uh, very comfortable pad, highly recommended. Um, this pad goes for, let's see, I got it for 120 bucks because it was on an REI sale where Thermarest was for 30% off. But you can find this on Amazon. I checked it like last week and they were 145.74 for the regular. It does come in four sizes, uh, regular, small, medium, and large. Um, where basically it just gets shorter or longer, however you're ordering. Um, the large actually gets a little wider. It gets wider by five inches, um, but it's also one pound and four ounces. So um, if you are a side sleeper and you are bigger than, uh, and then you have a big frame, you may want to look at the large version. Uh, I think it would be a lot more comfortable. Um, I'm 5'6", 140 pounds, and this pad is perfect length for me. This is the regular, and I side sleep all the time. Uh, that's my preferred method of sleeping anyway, and uh, I remain on the pad. Um, I have no complaints. I really like the deflating process of this pad. Let me show you guys. It's one of the easiest uh, air pads to deflate that I've ever used. So all you got to do is open the valve and just start rolling loosely. You know, you don't have to be, you don't have to be too exact. It's not going to stay like this, but just roll your pad up. Kind of like a sleeping bag. And then you can just you know, lean on it until all the air is deflated. Or until most of the air is deflated. OK. 
Okay. Close the valve. Open it back up. And then fold it into thirds. Okay, and then once you have that, start rolling your pad like you would that you're ready to pack up completely. You know, nice and tight. Make sure you keep the sides in. And then you can open the valve again. And you're ready to go. Thanks for watching this review, guys, of the Thermarest Neo Air X Therm Great Sleeping Pad. If anybody has any questions about the sleeping pad, uh, go ahead and comment below with your question, and I'll try to answer you as soon as I can. Uh, while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe and like us on Facebook. Be smart, stay safe, and I'll see you on the trail.